identity is not inside our body. Our identity is picked up by protein antennas on the surface of our cells. The body is like a television set and there's a broadcast coming in. And the relevance about that is sometimes the television breaks, you say the television's dead. And I say, yeah, but is the broadcast still there? There's a, a number of studies of people who uh, have heart transplants. And when they receive a transplant for somebody else, they start to pick up characteristics of the person who donated the heart. Now, some people say that's cellular memory. Um, as a cellular biologist, I think uh, you're giving great credit <laughs> of memory to a cell. A cell is lucky to remember if it's a liver cell or a skin cell, not if it likes chicken McNuggets and beer. But the story I just want to emphasize is this. A young girl received a heart from another young girl. And once the heart was implanted, uh, just shortly after, she had very vivid nightmares of, of being murdered. And they repeated themselves every night, every night. And so finally, the doctor said, well, where did this heart come from? And it was from another girl who was murdered. And the relevance about that was the nightmares were so vivid that when the police questioned her about what she had seen, they were able to catch the killer. The point was the heart cells are still having the self antennas of the person who has died. And so as long as the heart was still present, it was downloading the identity into that heart. And the relevance is, yes, the girl's dead, but is she still there? Why? Because if the heart has the receptors, it still shows that there's a source that's feeding this individual person. Between all this particular data, uh, it is profoundly, profoundly uh, important to understand the nature of some quantum physics, energy fields, and identity, and that we are not in this body. We are being broadcast to this body. As a scientist, uh, and not spiritual for 40 some years, and then in one minute after understanding the nature of the membrane, I'm, oh, I'm, it's like two plus two is four. I'm not in here. It was, it was, a, oh my God, I'm not here. And that, that concept of, of being outside, then being immortal, uh, was interesting. But then I wanted to add this part because I thought this was the exciting part about my connection with my spirit and my body. I asked myself as a scientist, I said, well, why have a body and a spirit? Why not just be spirit? The answer for that is this. This is a virtual reality suit. You jump into the suit, you drive it around, the experiences of this suit are sent back to source. That's where we start to recognize your brain activity is not contained in your head. You can use magnetoencephalograph probes outside of your head and you can read your brain activity. So you're broadcasting back to the field. And that's why we can see a sunset. We can taste that chocolate. We can smell that rose. We came here to experience life and to create and then all of a sudden I said, oh, the whole story might be the biggest cosmic joke in the world. And that is this. We have been told that when we die, if we did a good job on planet Earth, we can go to heaven. I would like to suggest something. You were born into heaven. This is where you came to create. This is where you came to experience. If you don't like the creation, the significance is we're not living our lives, we're living the lives of programs. And if you don't like the program, the new biology is the one that says you can rewrite it. And if you rewrite it to make your creation not the one you bought as the creation, you will manifest heaven on earth. You will wake up every day with the glory of being in the most spectacular planet and the ability to create life. And that's what the joy is all about. What would happen if you stop playing the program? And the answer is so wonderful because all of you have taken that red pill at some point. And that was when you fell deeply in love with somebody. And I said, what was happening when you fell deeply in love? And I say, for the first time in your life, you stopped thinking because everything you wanted is now right in front of your face. And when you stop thinking and you become what is called mindful, then you are in absolute control. I say, look, you, your life could suck every day until you met this person and then heaven in 24 hours.
later you can experience heaven and what was the difference you stop thinking and started being present and so it becomes important if you want to transform then you stay present and you repeat what you like and repetition is what will reprogram your subconscious so as long as you stop the old talk put in what you want and repeat what you want you have an opportunity to rewrite any program in your life